KFBM Studios. You're watching KFBM 6 News tonight at 10. Good evening. We thank you for joining us here tonight. I'm Kimberly Roosley. Aaron is off tonight. Right now, Southeast Texans have the opportunity to apply for the many jobs coming to our area through Chevron Phillips' expansion in Orange County. The Golden Triangle Polymers Project will create more than 4,000 construction jobs and about 500 permanent positions. KFBM's Angel San Juan in studio tonight to tell us how this is the comeback Orange has been anticipating for years. That's right, Kimberly. Those familiar with the history of Orange will recall how the timber industry helped the community boom. The trees and sawmills created prosperity for many. It's been reported that in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Green Avenue in Orange had more millionaires than any other street in any similar sized town in America. Now there's hope history may repeat itself and Orange will become fruitful once again. Orange is a city in recovery, the target of a series of storms over the span of more than a decade. Many homes destroyed and vacant, others just now getting rebuilt. We've experienced so many disasters where people have lost so many things. And this here is just, uh, just like a, a, a wonderful gift uh, to our area. District 3 Councilwoman Terry Salter was born in Orange and has lived here all her life. She's her city's most consistent cheerleader. Councilwoman Salter is in her second three-year term and is seeking a third. She's running unopposed. And the wonderful gift she's talking about is Chevron Phillips' $8.5 billion expansion happening in her hometown. People will be able to, you know, come back if they had, had to leave due to these disasters that we have experienced in the past. Now they're able to come back home. And for those that are here, they're able to, uh, to stay here. Don't have to go outside looking elsewhere. They're able to stay here right in their community and have a, a wonderful life. Councilwoman Salter says the expansion offers opportunity, but it's up to citizens to seize it. One of her constituents who is doing just that is James Ross Sr. He's a truck driver who's partnered with a trucking company that's already working at the construction site. We uh, bring in all kinds of material to do the foundation. So there's a lot of work that's going to be done with trucks. There's a lot of trucks in and out of there. So we bring, in, we bring in the material that they need. It brings in quite a bit of revenue. Ross says not only is the expansion paying off for him, but he gets to be part of building growth in his community. He encourages his fellow citizens to do the same to apply for the jobs and seek those contracts. The opportunity is there for you, but it's not going to just, they're not going to knock on your door and just give it to you. You have to go out and search and seek it. So I'm one of the ones who did so, and I was fortunate enough to be able to uh, get on to the contract. Councilwoman Salter expects the expansion to have a ripple effect and bring more businesses to the city. She says residents will no longer need to go to Beaumont, Houston, or Lake Charles for prosperity. I don't want it to be where we have to go east and west in order to get the things that we need. We need to have all those things here. So it's so important to me that Orange grow and that we have all the things that we need simply right here in our city of Orange. And Mr. Ross, who you just met in that report, says his daughter is also benefiting from the expansion. She has a job as a security officer at that site. The company is already accepting applications for all available jobs out there. You can find a link to apply on our website, kfbm.com. It will be there following this newscast. Kimberly.